Welcome to Yala Let's Eat, where we travel around Israel to discover the country's hidden culinary gems. This week, we leave the bustling restaurant scenes of Tel Aviv and Jerusalem to visit Lara's backyard, located in the serene desert of Mitzpah Ramon. Meet Lara, owner and chef behind Lara's backyard. Originally from the bustling city of Tel Aviv, she eventually decided to move down south to follow her passion and dream of cooking. I was doing my uh, BA in business and entrepreneurship. I was about to get accepted to this accelerated program and suddenly I realized my big real passion is actually cooking. So I decided to sign in into a culinary school and then it all began. So today we're gonna make three courses. The first one is actually my favorite. This dish is a combination of an Asian wonton dough and a Labane cream cheese. Each sheet of wonton is gonna be filled with the Labane schug filling. Schug is a herb paste, spicy. It has cumin inside, it's the Mediterranean pesto. And I'm gonna use some water to make them stick together. And now I'm gonna cook those in boiling water like you cook pasta. Now I'm gonna season the beets. It goes into the outdoor oven for a good crisp. I think while I was growing up, uh, food was always a big part of our family. Uh, my mom is from Ukraine and my dad is from Libya. So when I was working in some of the, the restaurants in Tel Aviv, I felt like there is no direct interaction with the customer and something was missing for me. So when I host people at my house and uh, in my kitchen and I cook in front of them, tell them about the ingredients, to share this experience with them, those moments we share together are priceless. So for the salad, which is made out of every leaf I have in the garden, and I always add to it something fruity, citrusy. I have here three types of lettuces, some rocat leaves, adds a little bit of bitterness. I have daikon, which is Asian kind of radish. I have my sweet radish that will add a lot of color. And now I'm gonna fillet some blood oranges because we're in the winter and citrus goes really well with this salad. Those are dates that were picked in the Arava area. They taste like toffee. I'm gonna add a little bit of those dates to the salad just to add a little bit of sweetness. Now I'm gonna season it. For the final touch, I'm gonna put some walnuts. The best thing about growing my own vegetables is definitely the freshness. You can't even compare lettuce that is bought in the store from lettuce that is, was picked two minutes ago. The connection with nature for me was almost instinctive. The minute I had time to learn new things, I started taking courses in permaculture, uh, learning about uh, natural agriculture, uh, compostation. In my kitchen, all my food scrap goes either to my chickens or to the compost. And the compost bin is a process which makes food uh, decomposed into soil that has lots of vitamins and minerals and you can grow new vegetables in it. This is a patissiere cream for my dessert. So instead of using dairy milk, I'm actually using oats milk. It gives it unique taste and uh, color as well. Uh, I also put inside some espresso and I'm gonna add some cardamom to it. So this is a cardamom powder. And I'm gonna add just a little bit to give it uh, the Israeli Arab flavor. So 
on the bottom, I'm gonna spread some salted caramel ganache. Last but not least, uh, I have the pata choux that I baked with a sablé dough on top, which makes it extra crunchy. And for the final touch, a passion fruit that I picked from uh, the tree outside. And I'm gonna balance the sweetness and the saltiness with a little bit of sourness. I think my food philosophy is definitely what nature gives me, I will use, and I will try to be as creative as I can with it. I hope you were inspired and hopefully we'll see you guys soon.